Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in English 2, Week 2, Quarter 3. Our lesson for today is about synonyms and antonyms. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! What is synonyms? Synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Like for examples, Large means big. Infant means baby. And means finish. Glad means happy. Stone means rock. The pair of words have the same meaning. Let us read the example sentences. Notice the underlined words. Number 1. Animals should not remove from their natural home. They can freely move in their usual place. The underlined words are natural and usual. Natural and usual have the same meaning. Natural means real. Usual means habitual. Natural means usual. Number two, another example. We should not deprive the giraffes of their home. They easily get sick if we deny them to live in a jungle. The underlined words are deprive and deny. Deprive and deny have the same meaning. Deprive means to take something away from. Deny means to refuse. Deprive means deny. The pairs of underlined words have the same meaning. They are synonyms. Again, synonyms are words having the same meaning. Here are another example. Ivory means white. Expose means unprotected. Cruel means unkind. Jungle means forest. Huge means large. Disaster means harm. These words have the same meaning. They are synonyms. Let us answer the following activities. Choose from the box the synonym of the underlined word in the sentence. The words in the box are discovery, great liking, skillful, wound, saved. Number 1. A zookeeper must be an expert in handling and dealing with animals. The underlined word is expert. What is the synonym of expert? Correct! The synonym of expert is skillful. Expert means skillful. Number two, he, she should also have the love and passion for animals. The underlined word is passion. What is the synonym of passion? Correct! The synonym of passion is great liking. Passion means great liking. They are synonym. Number three, a finding says that elephants living well in a zoo still miss their natural home. The underlined word is finding. What is the synonym of finding? Correct! The synonym of finding is discovery. Finding means discovery. They are synonym. Number four. A monkey was brought to a vet because of an injury on its knee. The underlined word is injury. What is the synonym of injury? Correct! 
The synonym of injury is wound. Injury means wound. They are synonym. Number five. Many elephants are rescued from circuses and natural disasters. The underlined word is rescued. What is the synonym of rescued? Correct! The synonym of rescued is saved. Rescued means saved. They are synonym. Now, what is antonyms? Antonyms are words that has an opposite meaning of a given word. Like for examples, the opposite of win is lose. The opposite of forward is backward. The opposite of loud is quiet. The opposite of husband is wife. The opposite of large is small. Let us read the example sentences. Notice the italicized words. Number 1. Some ugly mermen were looking at Dora's two beautiful daughters. The italicized words are Ugly and beautiful. Ugly is opposite of beautiful. Because ugly means unpleasant. And beautiful means good looking. The opposite of ugly is beautiful. Another example. Doro was standing in front of his house when he saw the mermaid combing her hair behind the huge rocks. The italicized words are in front and behind. In front is the opposite of behind because in front means in a forward position and behind means at the back. The opposite of in front is behind. These words are antonyms. The pair of italicized words in each sentence have opposite meanings. They are antonyms. Here are another examples. The opposite of brave is coward. The opposite of fool is empty. The opposite of silent is noisy. The opposite of powerful is weak. The opposite of simple is difficult. The opposite of wealthy is poor. The opposite of lazy is hardworking. The opposite of late is early. The opposite of joyful is lonely. And the opposite of mean is kind. These are antonyms. Now, let us answer the following activities. Choose from the box the antonym of the underlined word in each sentence. The words in the box are hard, wide, little, deep, kind. Number 1. A huge wave brought Alan to the middle of the sea. The underlined word is huge. What is the antonym of huge? Correct! The antonym of huge is little. Little is the opposite of huge. Number 2. Dudai stayed at the shallow part of the water. The underlined word is shallow. What is the antonym of shallow? Correct! The antonym of shallow is deep. Deep is the opposite of shallow. Number three. Doggy's bark was so soft that Mike could not hear him. 
The underlined word is soft. What is the antonym of soft? Correct! The antonym of soft is hard. Hard is the opposite of soft. Number four. The path to Arman's house was so narrow. The underlined word is narrow. What is the antonym of narrow? Correct! The antonym of narrow is wide. Wide is the opposite of narrow. Number 5. Anton's wife was not cruel. The underlined word is cruel. What is the antonym of cruel? Correct! The antonyms of cruel is kind. Kind is the opposite of cruel. Now it's your turn. Do the following activities. Write your answer in your notebook. Connect the pairs of synonyms. Write only the letters of your answer. The words on the left are Number 1, false Number 2, clever Number 3, beneath Number 4, significant And number 5, awful You're going to choose the synonyms of these words The words on the right are Letter A, under Letter B, bad Letter C, wrong Letter D, smart Letter E, important Kids, you may also pause this video Next, choose the antonym of the given word Number 1, quick what is the antonym of quick? Steady, slow, fast. Number two, calm. What is the antonym of calm? Peaceful, noisy, quiet. Number three, shy. What is the antonym of shy? Confident, timid, lonely. Number four, cruel. What is the antonym of cruel? Kind, fierce, harsh. Number five, famous. What is the antonym of famous? Well-known, notorious, brave. Number six, chili. What is the antonym of chili? Warm, cold, freezing. Number seven, gloomy. What is the antonym of gloomy? Sad, bright, dark. Number eight, funny. What is the antonym of funny? Boring, light, cold. Number nine, sharp. What is the antonym of sharp? Alert, dull, deep. Number 10, neat. What is the antonym of neat? Tidy, clean, dirty. Very good, kids! So again, 
Synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Like for examples, present means gift. Easy means simple. Job means occupation. Glad means happy. True means correct. Antonyms are words that has an opposite meaning of a given word. Like for examples, the opposite of bad is good. The opposite of before is after. The opposite of right is left. The opposite of glad is happy. And the opposite of bitter is sweet. So kids, what we have learned today? Correct! It's about synonyms and antonyms. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!